Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name, Sheep's the Game, and here's what's coming up in today's lambing video. I'm going to tell you now, there's a lamb out ahead here. Look at the birds here. They've been at this little lamb, my god. I see she's been at it a wee while. <laughs> oh, excuse you, Lizzie. Smalling sheep fans, death this morning. I was going to say I'm not going to show you this one, but I think I will show you. I'm going to tell you now, there's a lamb out ahead here. But I'm going to show you because I'd like to know your thoughts on what would do this to the lamb. Probably a badger. This is a lamb, just show you very quickly. That's it there. What do you think? Badger. Ewes and lambs everywhere now. Girl here, looking really sad. I'm thinking mastitis, possibly. Let's rang her. Tip on her bum. Aye, I think she's got mastitis. Aye, mastitis. It's a ridiculous bag on her. Could argue it's a... You know, in some instances, downfall, downfall of the mule. Too much milk at times. We're gonna go mastitis, we're gonna go Draxin, and of course, Metacam. Plenty of it. Just for anyone that's interested, I'll just show you the sort of symptoms here. She almost looks like she's lame. I mean, a ridiculous sized back bag as well, but she, she walks kind of like she's lame. And it'll be that it's painful for her when she walks to touch her bag. That's uh, the easy sign of a, a weedy jow mastitis. Worth its weight in gold, this Crystal X stuff. A few more going out this morning. Something exciting, something exciting! So here it is. Two white-faced Dartmoor lambs born outside this morning. That girl there. She was stuck on her back the other day, so it's good to see two live lambs out. They may be a day or two early, I think. I had the 19th, the due date for these. It's the 16th today, I think. But this single is trying to steal them. I think we could get that single away. Go and get something to eat. Brian defence here. Stay away you. Be gone I say. Just get a spot of iodine for the navels. Mr Muscle loves the jobs you hate. Just for performance recording. Well not performance recording but for breeding for getting certificates for them and stuff not because they're pedigree these ones. That's a bra sight. Farm show going on mm -hmm. before a new bale of straw goes in. Fresh bedding, it's like getting new bed sheets on the bed. Where else do you get bed sheets, Carmel? So we had a bit of a poo explosion there. Um, and we thought easiest way is just to give Jock a bath. <laughs> it's also a great uh, product placement opportunity as well. And you know I don't miss those. Enjoying that wee bath jock. Hey, you'll be buzzing. Two baths in one day. No, oh, Jesus. Look, kids are rough, man. Like, he's in there because he's had an absolute explosion. And we've got most of it wiped up, but we thought we'd give it a proper wash off, see if I'm getting any sore bits. And now he's putting his hand in it and. Forgot the GoPro, but we have the phone in the go here. This girl, dirty press in there, dirty colour at the back but nothing showing, so this is not going to be good. 
I'm thinking backwards lamb possibly. They were a real awkward spot for catching her here, but the girls have got her. Ah, she's been. There we go. Well done, girls. Ah, there's something no right here. She's not liking this. What's your thoughts, Lizzie? Could be coming the wrong way. Backwards. That's exactly what I said. I think it's a backwards lamb that's got stuck, and there's just no signs of a lambing here. Bit dirty the bum as well. Is it there? Uh, it's not right. Yeah, it'll be up. Hang on. Back was lamb right enough. I see she's been at it a wee while. <laughs> so for some reason the audio cuts out on my phone here, which is a shame because this situation goes from being dire and us all expecting it to be a disaster to this little lamb coming out live and kicking. I genuinely couldn't believe it that and it's such a shame the audio is lost because I was amazed that this lamb was not only alive but it was showing so many good signs of taking a breath and looking strong. I believe the quote I used was I would have bet my house on that being dead. Look at the birds here. They've been at this little lamb. My god. Is it? See, this is the bother. Like, ah. we're feeding these sheep and they're just getting mixed up. That's that's what's happened here. Same with the lamb Lizzie lifted last night. The twins are getting mixed up. I just, just need to stop feeding them. That's. I'd use that are out with numbers, it's absolutely fine because you can match them back up, but with these outdoor lambing ones, hindsight, we probably should be grabbing everyone as it lambs and spraying it. We should be, and next year we will be. Everyone will get a number, same as the inside ones. Because this is just not on. That poor lamb. Shows you how nasty birds are though. Lizzie here to inspect her yows. Do you want a hand? Mm. She says no. <laughs> That's one thing Lizzie never wants a hand. She's just so tough. I remember when I first met her and we went and did some shearing job and it was like a big tup or something was like kicking her about and I went to like put my hand on it to help her and she went, don't touch it. And I'm like, oh, okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Is that not true? I won't like the eyes, it's a lot of people. Yeah, you don't like help? Don't help, help. No, no. But I like help. Okay, that's why I help you. She's got good milk. Oh my, heaps. What's the breeding of this one here, Lizzie? We'll see. A sheep fan here. Got more. Got more There we go. Well, why did you want some? Oh, I just fancied it. Just because your mum has them? Yeah. Yeah, but it must be the wool. It's very nice. Aye, the aye. lamb outside, they're quite tough. Look at how woolly the lambs are. Look at, uh, nice Can I just say, folks, this, this field hasn't been on the vlog yet. Uh, we've been keeping this one for the hogs. It's amazing. Like, I'm just watching it through the camera here, it looks so good. Mm. Oh, excuse you, Lizzie. Hey. <laughs> Giving the girls a wee move. Light dune. Off they go. This gap looked bigger when I was... Oh. This is why I don't get nice things. Another hog has lambed. Cracking big single again, that'll be a Millennium Blue Lamb, I believe. We Lie down, lie down. We No, Meg, not you. Meg, I was talking to Lizzie, it was a joke. It was a joke, lie down. Don't spook her. Look at it running already, you can't catch it. Now's your chance. Lie down, there'll you make, there'll you make, there'll you make. You're gonna scare her, there'll you make. Good dog, there'll you. Lie down. Quick update on uh, how this is going. There's Lizzie, and uh, there's the hog down there. Oh, oh she's, I thought she was going to, how's she going to catch it herself? Oh, that is such a Lizzie thing to do. That's such a Lizzie thing to do. <laughs> uh, well, Lizzie didn't get the sheep. 
But eventually together we got it all. It was a bit of a, a bit of a faff, but we got there. On to the next job. Some colostrum for this little lamp. Mum's very sad, of course. Cracking little lamb, I'm just amazed that thing's alive. Absolutely amazing. So Robbie's got a, a great joke he just told me. There's two bits of concrete, no, two bits of tarmac, tarmac in a bar. And um, one one bit of tarmac went, watch that one over there, he's a psychopath. <laughs> I like it. No, he didn't mess up, it was good. I have a weird thing where I, I like to ask people, you know, know any good jokes, and that was Robbie's. It was a good joke. Okay, we have a scenario that every sheep farmer will be familiar with. Lamb on the wrong side of the fence. And of course Lizzie, well not of course, but Lizzie is away with Meg to do her rounds. Oh, that was a chance. Here it's coming, I'll do it again. That's, that's it. That was easy. Easy, easy, easy. Practice in it. There you go, Lamb. Back with Mum. There's views and lambs everywhere now. It's wild. Wild good, obviously. We're, we're getting through them now. How are you feeling about it all, Marissa? Pretty good. We had an issue today to address uh, in the comments regarding your hair. And I actually totally agree with the person that commented this. They said that either don't let Marissa lamb the sheep or ask her to tie her hair up. I'm sick of looking at that hair in front of everything when I'm trying to watch it. I, I, I feel the same way. I can hardly see what's happening for that bloody hair. <laughs> it's very unprofessional. Lizzie has hers up in a bun. I try to teach this young girl how to... Be, not even just that, from a, from a health and safety point of view, it's a hazard that, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a bothered, she's not bothered, but it's all just banter, it's fine. Just not happy with this sheep here that we lambed earlier, so we're going to bring her into the shed where this is going to catch her. Just catch her! Catch her! Aye, just run at her! She'll not outrun you. She'll not outrun you, you'll catch her, no bother. There you go. She's very sad, this sheep, so we'll take her back. She's not cleaning properly. We can keep treating her with antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, and obviously the lamb that's lying over there, we can make sure is fed as well. Another problem is I had to lift another lamb that has got lost from its mum because we fed them this morning. I don't know why I keep kidding myself on that it'll be okay. No more feeding for, for these lambing ewes, no more. We're on our way to patch a hole. Couple of cowboys. <laughs> Oh. Real amateur stuff here. Got some nails from a nail gun that I don't know where it is. And we're just going to use them because I can't find any other nails. I'm just a sheep guy, that's that's all I know. I'm a sheep. Just put two of them in. Cowboys. Stop the ewes, you stop the lambs. So we're doing our nightly chores. There's two or three here with the uh, joint ill. We're just giving them on the vet, Sinulux, uh, every night for five nights. The tricky thing is catching them when they start getting a bit better. Um, but yeah, never ending. There's one there. So we have a little pile of ewes and lambs here. Pretty sure sheep in the middle, not lambed yet, but she's trying to steal steal a, a lamb off someone. But there would be no point in trying to get involved or separate her or move anyone away because you'll just make a massive mess of work. But look, she might be trying to take herself away and hopefully she'll have her lamb soon. Got a couple of lambs here. One you can just see in the rushes, and there is one just behind that stump with the mother. Seen them early on today, and they were looking a little bit empty, but fairly fresh. I thought just give them a minute. She looked like she had a heap of milk. Hopefully they'd get on and have a good suck. Back here this evening, one's crying lightly because it is quite hungry now, and the other one definitely looks hungry. Plan is for now to get her in my makeshift pen and then see what the milk situation is like. If she's got a heap, we'll try and get the lambs on, and if she hasn't, we'll.
we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Like, first thing is to get her in the pen. Okay, we're close. It actually was a lot easier than I thought. She's a good mum. Just to get the gate round behind her when I feel like she's not gonna turn around and go the other way and haven't upset any other sheep at the same time, which is good, very good. I think this could be actually a sad story now because I've caught her. She's a great mum, really easy to get in the pen, kind, pretty chilled. Come to look at the other. It is quite hard in masses and I go to get milk out of any teat, any, any drop could give a little bit of hope and I can't get anything. It's not like the lambs have guts themselves, they're, they're full or anything, like they probably wouldn't have had a drink, although they have got warm mouths, so that's like quite a good thing, but literally can't get a drop. That lamb is crying because it's starving. I think we're going to have to take them both in. Um, I didn't have any spray or any ear tags or any anything. So I put a bit of string in her ear tag for now. One, so we know she's the one that had the lambs and hasn't got any milk while we're landing out here now for the rest of the season and um, potentially it might hang on in there until we get them in later on and we can put a, a cold tag in her ear so we don't keep her next year and have the same recurring problem that's us for this one sheep fans see you for the next one